Hey, yo, this video today is sponsored by my folks over at Epidemic Sound. Let's get it. I swear it never fails. I'm always coming out here with these dangerous bugs and stuff to film for y'all. Hey, listen, I got a new iPhone 13 Pro right here. You know what else Terry Warfield has? A Sony 24-70 F2.8 Gangster Mode. What is that loud car? Hey, it's paired with a Sony a7 III. This is about a $4,300 setup right now. And typically I hate these iPhone versus Pro camera videos, but the lines are really starting to be blurred, especially with this new iPhone 13. So today, even though I hate these style videos, I'm making it anyways. We're gonna take some shots with the iPhone 13 Pro. We're gonna take some shots with a Pro camera setup, and I'm gonna let y'all decide what camera took what photos. Y'all ready? All right, let's do it. All right, y'all, now fair is fair. iPhone 13 Pro will be JPEG only. It's already doing all of that hyper computational blending photos crap. The a7 III does not have that advantage. So the a7 III, I'm gonna also keep in JPEG. However, I'm gonna run those through Lightroom and let it auto-correct them too. So that way, you know, it at least has some type of advantage towards the iPhone 13 Pro's computational deep fusion photography, all of that good stuff. So now that the bar has been set, let's get it. Hey, I noticed you've been getting a whole lot of these wrong, but let me interrupt this video real quick to let you know about today's sponsor. I told y'all early in this video, and that's Epidemic Sound. Maybe you don't know what Epidemic Sound is. If you are a photographer, content creator, TikToker, YouTuber, whatever the case may be, if you create any type of content, this is hugely important. One of the things that people do the most, and this is where they go wrong at, is they go to make that video, and they go to upload it to YouTube, but the music they got, they stole it off of somebody else's YouTube channel or SoundCloud or anything like that, and to be honest, I did that up front. You know what happened? My videos got demonetized and I actually got a YouTube channel strike because of that. So that's one thing that you want to avoid is jeopardizing all your hard work. Do yourself a favor. Get a 30 day free trial down below. Now Epidemic Sound offers professional quality music. Amazing music by the way. Sound effects and all of that stuff. Anything that you create within that 30 days is covered even if you choose not to continue with the subscription. I'm, I'm sure you will want to after using it. But hey, do yourself a favor. Try it out for 30 days. See if it fits your workflow. Let's get back to this video. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Let's go. Don't fall. I had to put my ZV-1 on the branch. But let's talk some real talk Captain Obvious stuff, right? Obviously, a camera can, you know, outshoot a phone. But the iPhone has some pretty damn clever tricks up its sleeve. For one, like macro mode. I don't have a macro lens for this camera. So being able to get a macro photo out of my phone in my pocket is wild. And it's actually really good quality. So, hey, that's a W for the iPhone. The next thing I had to throw out there, portrait mode is actually designed on the iPhone to work with people and not freaking leaves and tree branches. So I don't really feel like it's a fair comparison. The only thing I got out here to test portrait mode with is myself, my face, and I can only use the front camera for that. So any comparisons y'all saw of my face or with the front camera, I unfortunately didn't bring nobody. So I can't like extend my arm to take the portrait photo how the camera instructs you to within the app. The next thing, right? 
Let's talk about background blur. Now, obviously, f2.8 is f2.8. I know y'all see all the lenses on the iPhone are f2.8, 1.5, etc. right? Well, this is an f2.8 lens right here. The 3X lens on iPhone 13 Pro is 77 millimeter. So, if all things were equal, I would be able to get a ton of background blur at 77 millimeter with the iPhone 13 Pro. The reality is, is I can't because of equivalency. And I'm not gonna get into like, all of the details and all that crap i will put a link to my you know camera basics right up there you can watch that in short because the sensor in the iphone is so much smaller it is more difficult to get depth of field with the same aperture values because the sensor is so much smaller that's a high level you know without getting technical so basically at 70 millimeter with this camera at f2.8 the background pretty much melts away naturally any photos that you saw from the iPhone 13 Pro and we'll see in this video with the 3X camera is not real background blur. That is the iPhone applying background blur and a lot of times it does a damn good job. But objects and stuff like that, it's not really the best at. The last thing is obviously the iPhone 13 Pro has three cameras in one. Like it's got an ultra wide, it's got a regular and a telephoto. That does not happen with a regular camera unless you get a super expensive lens. And on top of that, the iPhone fits right in your pocket. You cannot fit this in your pocket. Now the disadvantages, obviously this is big, but the advantages, you can swap lenses, you can change memory cards, you can swap the batteries. Can't do all that stuff on the iPhone. However, it is in your freaking pocket. And usually the best camera you have is the one that you have access to and everybody has a freaking phone. Let's finish this video. All right, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I saw a whole lot of y'all got some answers wrong and a whole lot of y'all got some answers right. Let me know down below if you got most of them wrong or most of them right. I think it's crazy that we've been having this conversation, but one thing I did want to say is for the people that are professionals, yo, our work is not in jeopardy. And although phones are getting better, there's still a need for professional cameras, professional photography, professional filmmakers. So stop crying, stop worrying. Just because phones are getting better, mainly for social networks, doesn't mean that our work is compromised and I should probably put some lotion on, but it is what it is. Hey, I'm about to get out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love y'all so much. So till next time, peace of chicken grease. I'm out here at Warfield. Peace.